Guys, there is finally a new Honda Accord that's been revealed and I made a redesign of this, I, I can't remember, it was several months ago and it turned out pretty close to that, even better, the real one looks really good so what I want to do in this video is of course talk about this new design and also talk a little bit about the spec and tech here before we jump into the design and look at it from a front side rear and also compare the new interior which also looks really really good however looking at the front view there are a couple of things that i'm a little confused by more on that a little later so there are two engine options here to choose from you have a turbocharged 1.5 liter inline four producing 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque that's easy to remember because it's the same number both horsepower and torque and it's also the same numbers as before and it's connected to a CVT box there is no more turbo 2, li uh, two liter in the lineup uh, that's gone instead there is a new 2 liter hybrid with 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque and on the inside you have a 7 inch touchscreen as standard and they kept the physical knob for the volume I really like that there is also an optional 12.3 inch touchscreen available if you prefer to have a TV stuck on the dash a 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster sits comfortably inside a nice housing which I'm going to show you more in, in later in the video and is standard on all trim levels the new Accord will go on sale in early 2023 with a starting price of around thirty thousand dollars so let's have a look at this gorgeous new design by Honda I've said it before I'm gonna say it again right here Honda is on a roll when it comes to designing cleaning up their lineup so look at the old generation Accord up here you can see just how much cleaner the new one is based on just the styling in the front end but it also goes all around the car we're gonna have a look at the side and the rear as well so in the old one we have this typical for the time for this generation of Hondas like three level grill I call this a three level grill grill because we have the chrome piece up here and then we have a separate piece <laughs> underneath and then there is a third opening in in the lower part here. so you have three different styles within the same grill and it, it this old generation it doesn't look bad at all I think this is really good looking specifically with these sort of almost turbine looking wheels you also have some nice line flow a clean shoulder going into the headlights but the new one just looks so much more tidy in the front end it looks like they cleaned everything up and they do this in the entire lineup you have the uh, prologue you have the new Civic the CRV and a lot of new Hondas coming out right now looking super tight and clean and it looks more even more luxurious when you reduce styling pieces like this like we have for example here in the old Accord when you reduce styling and make it more make it less less is often more when it comes to styling specifically of cars and I think that's the case with the new Accord here as well but when I look at this front end it could very much have been a new Ford or Ford Mondeo there's a lot of Ford going on in this front end or, or even the Ford Mustang looks pretty similar to the new Accord that's not a bad thing because the new Mustang also looks very good in the front end I'm not complaining there but it, it's interesting to see just how similar they are in their styling specifically with this treatment of the grill in the Honda Accord very tight and sharp similar to what we have in the Mustang and then we have this lower part which I also want to talk about I like the styling of the lower part very simplistic lines as you can see three lines going in in, in the um, graphic features of the lower part of the grill but then we have this piece right in the very end point being silver and completely lacking any sort of a graphic connection to the center part here I think if I were to redesign this or, or restyle this I would just make this black and not have it be silver it just adds a touch of silver in an interesting spot and you don't have that silver coming back anywhere else on the car now looking at the side view this is I think uh, one of the best looking views for the new Accord the old one looked also as I said very clean and tight you have long shoulder long lines stretching from the very end point into the other end and they also have a typical sedan style and I'm really glad that uh, Honda decided to keep going with the Accord because we know that a lot of sedans these days 
are being cancelled because people are not buying sedans anymore. But I think it's I think that trend is turning and sedans are actually going to start to come back in sales. And this is a good looking sedan, but as I said, the new one is just a lot more elegant in its approach and uh, stripped down in styling. We have this piece, for example, just look at the lower piece of this line right here. There's just one single line going from the front bumper into the side and then coming back in the rear bumper here as well. We have a nice sharp shoulder line as well and in between these lines there's really not a lot going on and this as I said is a trend of cars these days, car manufacturers and, the, and design, they're starting to reduce the overstyling and putting unnecessary lines in the cars, but instead of uh, to, to create a strong brand identity, what they use is the graphics in the front and the rear. So the, the, the headlights and the taillights and also the greenhouse styling seems to be a trend right now to create more identity. But the rest of the surfacing of the car seems to be very stripped down across the entire car design industry. And I think that's a good thing because it looks a lot cleaner and this will look a lot better in 20 years than the previous generation did because this has a lot of uh, trends that will go out of style while the new one is pretty timeless when it comes to the design of uh, the approach of the design. It's also 2.8 inches longer, however the wheelbase is exactly the same as before. And you can see what I love about the new Accord is the hood treatment. We have a clear box. Box number one is clearly defined and also box number two and then we have sort of a sloping roof line going into box number three right here but it still has very typical and clean sedan proportions and I love the way the hood sticks out. It kind of goes from the greenhouse here and then shoots forward almost straight from the A-pillar stretching forward and creating a, a very luxurious and upscale type of styling looking at it from this view. Looking at the rear view, also same thing here, cleaned up, removed unnecessary lines. We don't even have a chamfer that we have it here. This looks like, I always thought the, these um, taillights and uh, the taillights of the previous Civic, they look like kind of crab claws. And the new one, as you can see, looks a lot better in my opinion because we have a nice clean line top end point of the rear end graphics and we also have a light bar but it doesn't stretch all the way in so have a look at this it starts here goes in and then stretches to this point there you have the honda logo logo in the middle breaking this um, light bar so it's not a 100 percent solid light bar but it still creates a pretty decent uh, brand identity in the rear end when this is lit up at night i do like that we have ex exposed exhaust pipes in the previous generation here they are covered up by this lower end pretty elegant looking diffuser. It, it still looks good, but maybe for a sportier version, I'm not sure if there is a trim level that will have the exhaust pipes at least a little bit visible inside of this black diffuser that we have right here. All right, last but not least, let's have a look at this interior. The old one, it felt a little cheap, specifically the steering wheel felt a little cheap when you were driving this car. I think they upgraded the steering wheel. I think you can have it in leather now, which is gonna make it feel a lot more comfortable and upscale if you choose that. You can see that the integration of the, uh, the uh, digital uh, infotainment screen right here, it's pretty similar in the new generation like we have in the previous generation. But I love that they kept the housing for the, inf the gauge cluster. Super tight design and pretty traditional, but in combination with new digital digital displays, you can still have a nice housing for them. And as you can see, this part right here is very much uh, similar to what we have in the new Civic. For example, I think the new CRV has something similar like this, which also reduces this waterfall design that we had throughout the 2000s and 2010s. This is a design that pretty much every single car manufacturer used. But here it looks a lot more static, so we have almost a 90 degree cross section between these two features, which I think suits today, a 2023 model, more than this waterfall design. Very well done, Honda. I can't wait to see this out on the streets and get my proper impressions of it when I see it in 3D in real life.